a small candle display outside St James's Theatre on Courtney Place. 7:30 p.m. set up, and 8 o'clock we should have the candles all laid out. So come and support us here, and please contact your MPs, ask them to stand up for Assange, write a letter to Julian. Um, you know, just form a group yourself, and please mobilise. Do what you can because our children need a free press. Otherwise, we cannot hold our governments to account. So thank you very much. Signing out from Wellington. Okay. Um, thanks a lot, everyone. For uh, we're here to support um, Julian Assange and we're here to send a message that um, New Zealanders, uh, both here in Wellington and also in Auckland, uh, they're meeting today as well and in a number of um, uh, cities around the world, I think the number is 94 or 84. 84, it's a big number, uh, are all here to say that we want Julian Assange to be free, uh, we want the UK courts to release him. Uh, we want the extradition proceedings to be like blasted to hell where they deserve to be. Um, Julian Assange has done nothing different to any other journalist. Uh, when stuff's leaked to them, they publish it. Right? And what Assange and WikiLeaks have done is redacted and make sure that it's all like recently sanitised in terms of privacy and all the rest of it. But what they're doing is releasing the details of what the dirty empire gets up to with its foreign wars. And obviously, the dirty empire hates that, and that's why he's been in jail or been in incarceration, either in the Ecuadorian embassy in London or in Belmarsh prison for the last dozen years. It's just wrong, and he needs to be free so that he can rejoin his family, go back to Australia, and keep telling the truth. Yeah. Here, here. Yeah. our march here. We're just heading from the British High Commission now to the Australian High Commission and then on to the US Embassy to join up with a free Palestine march. Okay. Okay, we are just at the GCSB headquarters and right now. NZSIS. And NZSIS, basically the uh, security services of New Zealand, the uh, the deep state state personified and we thought we would just stop off here while we were on our tour so um, and we're just about to shall we yell out free Assange now okay ready one two three free Julian Assange free Julian Assange free Julian Assange free Julian Assange I can see you. <laughs> you know, I used to be in charge of intelligence and police. Headquarters. 
So there we are. We're on our march around all the embassies. The British High Commission, the Australian High Commission and the US Embassy. Another one? Free Julian Assange! Free Julian Assange! Oh yeah? over to London and pull him out. <laughs> you guys are supposed to be pretty tough. Right, we are now at the US Embassy. 
Uh, the police have been following us all around on this march and there's only sort of 10, 15 of us at the maximum points but they seem really scared so yeah here we are we've been here before a long time ago this was where we were the day after Julian was arrested and oh hello please and we have a beautiful free Palestine action going on here um, they look like they've been set out all day here because the US is one of the key funders and assisters of that genocide and here's our signs. We had our candles set out here back in 2019 for Julian's birthday for candles for Assange. That was our second ever one. And uh, yeah, I might just play some violin now. I might hand that over to someone. <laughs>
Hello there, I am at the Candle Vigil at um, outside St James Theatre, more or less, Courtney Place. We're sort of a little bit further up the road. And we've just set up these candles and Timothy and I have just played the Julian Assange song, which we love so much. And we've got a lovely turnout tonight. What have we got? Ooh, maybe 30? 30 altogether, all around? Maybe 20. No, 25. Anyway, um, Julian has had his trial um, today in London, well, Tuesday in London, and I guess uh, their court is going to be open at 8.30 in the morning, which is not very long from now, so I'm gonna upload this right now. So you can see the candles uh, before it got dark at Wellington, New Zealand. Candles for Assange are listing 84 cities, and the only reason we could do that was because of amazing work from the grassroots supporters, first of all, of course, but uh, amazing work from Free Assange Wave and Stella Assange herself um, and putting it on an interactive map. So we have lots of people to thank. Um, but anyway, New Zealand, on the second day of our protest yesterday, we did a parliament and did a march around the embassies. And I've been uploading that on my channel, Alex Hills. Anyway, signing out from New Zealand. Bye. Free Assange in Wellington, New Zealand. It's a lovely evening. We've had some good support and beeps from passers-by. I noticed especially the truckies are into him. <laughs> ah. And some of the buses. Yeah, some of them. It tends to be the people that realise that the government is not on our side. Oh, I love the... I love... The prisoner. We need a sack over your head. <laughs> Maybe you need to wear the, br the the British flag around your mouth. Oh, I reckon. Kind of dark, no? Yeah, yeah, it's getting nice yeah, for amazing photos. On camera. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's quite better than like, just looking at. Yeah, cause... Get up, stand up, stand up for your right. Get up, stand up. Don't give up the fight. Get up, stand up. Stand up Are you a part of the team there?
Fight for freedom!